So now we've gotten three of the server services running. We've got DHCP running and working, HTTP web server running, and the DNS server working. So now let's do number four, and we'll work with FTP. Okay, so FTP is with the web server down here, and so we'll click on the server, and we'll take a look at the FTP server. Go down here, click on FTP. As usual, it's on, and you can see that we have one user that's been set up with a username Cisco, password Cisco, and then the permissions. Let's set up another user for fun. So I'll put in username Dan, password Dan, and I'm going to give myself write, read, delete, rename, and list permissions. And then I'll click the plus sign to add my user here. And we want to notice a couple other things here. Down here at the bottom, these are the files that are in our FTP server. These are stored on the FTP server, a directory listing here of all the files that are available on the FTP server. So let's give this a try. So the server's on, so this should work. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our trusty client up here at the top, open a command prompt. I'm going to quit out of here and, oh, I'm sorry, exit. And now I've exited out of NSLOOKUP and I've got my prompt here. So now all we have to do is type FTP and then the IP address that we want to FTP into, .168.1.2.1. Two five three, hit enter, and you can see we're met with the FTP server prompt, welcome, the welcoming message, 220, welcome to the PT Packet Tracer FTP server, put in your username, I'll put in Dan, password, Dan, and you can see I'm in, logged in. So now I'm in the FTP server, I can type help to get a listing of the commands that are available. You can see there's a DIR command for directory. I'll put DIR, hit enter, and there's all the files that are on the FTP server. Great. So let's give it a try. So let's see if we can download one of these files from the FTP server to our computer, our virtual computer here at PC1. So what I'll do is I'm going to put in help again, and you can see that we have these other commands, and here's the get command. So that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to type get and then a space. And let's say I want to get this file right here. So I'll just highlight this file, right click on it, copy, and then I'll go down here and right click paste. And you can see I'm, the command is get space and then the file name I want to get and hit enter. And now I'm transferring the file from the FTP server over here to my computer over here. All right? And you can see activities happening on the link. You can see these have gone green, right? And the file transfer is in progress. Okay, transfer complete. You can see it was a pretty large file, let's say. And let's see if it's now on our local computer. So to check out if it's on our computer here, we'll type exit or quit this time. All right, now we're quit out of the FTP program. And now, since this is the PC, we can just put DIR. And you can see here we have a little virtual C drive that we can look into. And on our C drive, you can see there it is. There it is right here, PT1000. So there's the file that we just downloaded from the FTP server. Let's see if we can put a file on the FTP server. That's always fun. So what I'll do is I'll open up the text editor here. Notice I'm in desktop. Text editor. And I'll say hello world. Then I'll file, save it, and I'll name the file hello.txt. All right? Okay. So I just made that little text file and saved it. Now where do you think it's saved to? Well, probably the C drive. Let's do a command prompt dir command. And you can see here's our C drive, and there's our file, hello.txt. All right, so let's connect to the server and put it onto the FTP server. So we'll do FTP. Let's see if we can just type in Dan's courses 
and .com and have it resolve to where we want to go. We'll hit enter. You can see that it resolves because DNS server, the DNS server is resolving danscourses.com to the IP address. All right, username, Dan, password, Dan, and I'm logged in. We will do a help command and see that the command is put that we want to use. So we'll say put space hello.txt, hit enter, and the file has been sent to the FTP server. Let's check the FTP server to see if it's actually there. So we'll open up the server here, and we'll go to FTP, and we'll scroll down, and there it is, hello.txt. So we just downloaded and uploaded a file to the FTP server from our PC1 client. Pretty cool.